we now start with uh, discussion on history of numbers but uh, before I go into the details I would like to point out something very very important and that's uh, that's the way we learn numbers in our primary schools is actually not the very ideal way to learn in my opinion in fact if somehow we understand the history of numbers and try to relate the number development as the history the way it developed historically then in my opinion the understanding of even children of very early age in kindergarten etc will be very very easy unfortunately we start with very wrong uh, way of introduction of numbers and therefore it creates a lot of confusion into the minds of this young people so why what am I referring to and that is what exactly I'll explain now but before I go on to this I'll again once again remind that the video what you are seeing now is primarily for the educators who are dealing with uh, teaching in primary sections or kindergarten or the people who are actually interested in knowing the fundamentals of mathematics and that's how we will be proceeding the records that we have is basically extends if I if I say this is a timeline let's say extending from 3000 BC to let's say the modern times which is a let's say 2000 AD so we are actually covering journey of almost 5000 years how actually the number concept of numbers grew and the first historical evidence is the development in Babylonian times and if you go a little ahead then you have around 2000 BC where you have Egypt the development of numbers known now in the e region called Egypt now so what I'll do is I'll show you this thing the world map now so actually the Babylonians were somewhere here and this is the time which we have early recorded development 3000 BC and the Egypt obviously is this region which is around 2000 BC and around 1500 BC you have the Chinese development and the Indus development for number system and the Chinese were actually somewhere here the development of number system and now Indus is the Indus Valley which is now bet somewhere between India and Pakistan so it's somewhere here so this was around 1500 BC and then then what you have then around 1000 BC the development shifted majorly to region of Greece and Rome so you can see approximately this region was the region and for example the Rome thing was around zero from around 1000 BC to around zero then the most important the development in the entire history of number system happened around 1000 AD and I've chosen different color red because I want you to understand that this was the most important development and this development was in the Indian region so this is the most important region for number system development and in fact you will notice that the entire scientific development 
everything that we see in modern world in fact that thing actually started from approximately around 1500 AD and this is the time when entire scientific development what you see now in the modern world started happening from Galileo to Newton to slowly to various other scientists and this was made all possible by the massive jump Hindu system gave to science and mathematics by the development of system which we call Hindu number system and the details of which will come in subsequent videos but because of this great rather the great test you know the great test invention of the mankind enabled the entire science and mathematics to to go from ancient age which is this age here the ancient age to modern age and you will see the reason why because the reason in very simple terms is that the Hindu system enabled world to compute bigger and bigger uh, numbers and more and more scientific development therefore could take place and this was encashed this whole thing was encashed by actually the Europeans from 1500 AD and as I said repeatedly this led to the massive development of science in this area in this region so what you see for example the number system 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and then you get a new number by a concept developed by Hindu Hindus in India called place value system which actually created a total new way a way of doing arithmetic which enabled totally new way of doing commerce and science and this is the most critical aspect the but the problem is that when you start in, in normally in primary schools generally teachers start with this Hindu system immediately when a kids come into the class for the first time now this is not the proper way of teaching numbers or teaching simple arithmetic because this is a quite an advanced system and therefore there is a lot of confusion that happens in the primary schools in understanding of basic arithmetic and once your arithmetic you develop little uh, resistance towards basic arithmetic then this shows up in higher classes in uh, you know dislike for mathematics and which should be avoided at any cost in my opinion if you if somehow we we take help of how these these you know this area there how they developed here in this Babylonian or Egyptian or Chinese if we take basic ideas of this era in teaching people this era here and take the basic ideas of counting from this in primary schools and then when a child is comfortable with these ideas when then one if one jumps to this only after child is comfortable then the transition becomes very smooth and child doesn't lose interest in mathematics and gain a lot of uh, you know confidence for future studies so the advice is that one should try and take basic elements which I'll explain in subsequent lectures from early number systems and introduce basic arithmetic through these early number system ideas and only when children are comfortable with with the, be those basic ideas one should move to Hindu system which is basically the way we learn numbers now 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and also the place value system for example I have written 2000 AD so this is nothing but idea taken from the place value system of Hindu uh, system, number system so this is a most critical aspect which I believe all educators and all people who are interested in mathematics should keep in mind teach students not directly Hindu system which is very very advanced 
and highly potent but has a has a you know chances ha it has chances of child losing interest due to the complexity it might offer to them and therefore they should be taught in a very natural way in which the numbers developed which will be explained in subsequent lectures